and welcome to today's market update with me, Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets on the 12th of July 2022. Let's have a check in on what's come across the news. Of course, US markets overnight close to the downside with generally broad based weakness. The Dow was down around 0.5%. The tech stocks underperformed significantly with the Nasdaq down in excess of 2%. Market caution is predominating with the inflation numbers due out on Wednesday and the imminent start of US earnings season. US futures continue that caution, seeing them softer in Asia. And Asian indices are following that weaker US lead, with the exception of the ASX, which is mildly in positive territory, about 0.3 to the upside, with some of the defensive sectors doing better than materials and technology stocks. European futures are also suggesting a lower open and the US dollar index on the back of this equity weakness is adding to last week's gains. It's higher again in Asia this morning, smashed the resistance yesterday. And as a result, gold looks continually bearish with a drop further to test the important 1725 level. A breakthrough that could mean we're moving back down to 1700. Oil tests and is retraced from 110, looks ranged around between 100 and $110 at the moment would be nice to see it move further down back towards that 100 pre that inflation number uh, the vix is, is higher today obviously on the back of that equity weakness and copper is holding support at last week's lows as we speak uh, bitcoin looks under pressure again cryptos down across the board bitcoin has dropped below that 20,000 key level but is above support just over 18,500. On the data front, pretty quiet day today again, and we've got Japanese PPI already out and has been expected. Number slightly hotter, and as a result, the Japanese yen has looked a bit perkier this morning. German economic sentiment is really the only other key data point out today, but as we've already intimated, inflation numbers on Wednesday are going to be the primary focus, along with earnings that really start to kick off on Thursday with the big banks. Let's just check in on a couple of charts which are catching our eye this morning. We'll start with a daily chart of the GB pound yen. And you can see this is moving back towards this key level around about 162.53 on the daily chart. Looked as though a textbook double top was going to be formed but failed to hold through this level and move straight back up into a short term range. But looks as though another test is on the cards. If we look at the 30 minute chart, you can see there trend towards the lows of the session in Asia. Just put it on the candles there. We've had a drop off over the last hour and looking to find some support just around this 162.90 level. So perhaps the opportunity is if we break this 162.53 on further weakness as we go throughout the day. On the ASX, the Staples sector is outperforming and we've got a chart of calls, which once again is moving towards these highs that we tested in April and throughout May at around about this 1886 level or around about 20 cents shy of that at the moment. But a move over this level could put coals in a good place. Uh, and you can see how important this level has been historically. So a move above this would be very significant. If we just move to the weekly chart, you can see how important this level has been historically. Some work to do, of course, but worth keeping an eye on over the next few days if we see more buying into this sector but quite a move up from where we were mid-june it merits being patient and waiting to see if we actually get a breakthrough not anticipating such beforehand trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now